Hey everyone, today I'm going to go over how to install a new operating system in a virtual machine, specifically Parrot OS. For those who do not know what Parrot OS is, it's a Linux operating system designed for security enthusiasts and professionals. It has a lot of pre-installed security tools for penetration testing or hacking. So let's do it. Alright, so let's head over to VirtualBox. You can use VirtualBox or VMware. I've had no problems with VirtualBox ever, multiple problems with VMware. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and download VirtualBox. and run it. Next, next. Yes, that's fine. And allow it to install. Finish. All right, so we have our virtual box. Next, we want to install our ISO, our Parrot OS ISO. So we can just head to Parrot, Parrot Security, and make sure it is the Security Edition. After that, we go to Download, and we'll use the ISO AMD. I've tried to use this VirtualBox AMD as we're using uh, the VirtualBox hypervisor, but. I haven't been able to figure out how that works. So I know how to use the ISO, works fine, perfectly, um, and it always has and it always will. Something we need to take into account is the requirements for this ISO. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and install the ISO. This will take, as you see, about five minutes. So I'll cut that out. You up, never gonna hurt you. Feel free to hit some push-ups crunches, count the hairs on your head, and it is finished. Right, so we'll open up our virtual box. <laughs> this, this will not be here for you guys. Let me remove it. Even though I don't have to, but. Okay, so we click on new. I always just name it whatever the operating system is, and if I have multiple of them, I put one, two, three, or four. And, uh, the folder, I, I have not changed anything. You saw that I installed the folder straight from the website, and I have not changed anything on this site either. So as long as you do not change anything, this will be straightforward. ISO image, let's go ahead and just click other, and it downloads, because we just downloaded it, and you can click on that we'll click next you can keep it exactly like this the hardware but I like to double it just in case just because 20 gigs I'm gonna go ahead and do 30 and next finish it's now loaded and we will start it now once this starts there's some very important things that have to get done here it goes and that is doing the updates and the upgrades to make sure the system has everything that you need and is completely up to date All right, let's full screen it and open up our terminal. So we need to run this command. sudo apt get update and sudo apt get upgrade. You can pause it there for a second in order to transfer that over and then you just click enter. 
And this installs all the dependencies, plugins. Do you want to continue? Yes. I clicked Y. See, it asked, do you want to continue Y or N? I clicked Y. Let me get my face off of there. We see it's installing Burp Suite. Very necessary. Now we're all done with the updates. So one more thing I like to do is we'll go ahead and save the machine state. And just in case anything happens to your Parrot OS VM, I always make sure to create a snapshot. Okay. Now what this does is takes the operating system exactly where it is and it saves it. So if you change something in the settings or remove something on accident, you can always go back to this snapshot and start fresh. And there you go. We installed our virtual box, installed our Parrot OS ISO, updated it and upgraded it, and created a snapshot. So if anything happens, if we're playing around in it and we screw something up, we can always go back to a nice, uh, clean version. Should have been pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I will answer them. If not, I'm sure somebody else will. That's all. Thanks for watching.